噔噔噔噔噔噔，这个叭叭叭叭叭叭叭。Mum's life quote was "Make every second count." That's one that's stuck with me for many years, and that's in life. And I took that into football too. So that's why every contest, every ground ball, every second that I'm out there, I just crack in. I've got two kids at home now, so every second that I spend with them, am I am I present? Am I make maximising that time with them? So making every second count with my family, knowing that. I have to make a lot of sacrifices to leave them to go and play sport, play professional sport. So when I'm at home, I'm maximising my time with them, knowing that when I take off, that it's for something special. I admire Hugh's humility. He is never the most important person in a room, even when he can be. He's an experienced character, but he still is so humble and embraces absolutely everyone. I guess he has every right to. Say I've been doing this the longest, and just go and do his own thing and get himself right. But he embraces everyone at the football club, the players, the staff, the fans, and that's why he's had some success as well because he brings people along with him and creates a successful group rather than just a successful person. So we've had Finn and his family come two and a half hours from uh, from Chadston this morning. Got up bright and early to join the queue, but also give me some. Handwritten letters he'd written throughout the year and had had a, hadn't had a chance to deliver them. He came to two games all year, and they were the two games that we won. So it was our good luck charm. We're going to try and get him up along to try and get him as many games as possible. The sweep the sheds mentality certainly came once I got a second opportunity with football. I lived it for a long time playing basketball, lost my way, put myself first, and. It's funny. The more I put myself first, the worse and worse that I got, and so I got to a point in my basketball where I was at a really, really high level. And after four years in, in, in America, I was—I left the same player that I arrived at. So when I got this opportunity to play football and be around that environment and to see how important it was to have guys that embraced their role and swept the sheds, that was when the penny dropped for me. It's like, all right, I'm coming from a long way back. I haven't played this game for eight years. They need someone that's just going to. Hunt and scrap and tackle and do all this dirty work. That's my ticket to getting a game, and that's our ticket to success. So that's where the penny dropped for me. What got me back on track was putting that team first. That sweep the sheds mentality. I was so fortunate that the penny did drop because here we are, ten years later. Sweep the sheds is probably the ultimate definition of humility, and we see it in the book Legacy about the All Blacks, and nothing's too big or too small, and their captain will. Stay behind at the end of games and make sure the facility is in a better state than when they arrived. And I think when we look at Hugh, that epitomises Hugh as a character. Nothing's too much trouble for him. Well, why do I sweep the sheds for my family? Because I love them and I want them to be proud of me, and I want to be proud of them. That's why I, I sweep the sheds for them and. I love my teammates, and I love winning. So I know that if I do these things, that they are valued by my teammates, and they will love me in return. And hopefully, we can win some games. So I guess that's why I do it because I I love them and I love what I do.